guy's a very talented young actress, a terrific actress, very lovely woman, good friend of this show, absolutely spectacular person. Amy Garcia, everybody, Amy Garcia. You look great. I love what's going on here. Oh, thank you so much. And also your dress. See what I did? Well, I kind of felt like you were going to be in a dancing mood. So I, I am brought a little long spunky skirt. tonight. I don't know what it is. That was some pretty good moves, though, with Secretary. Well, know. you know, I was thinking about those Japanese toilets. Got me all cheered up. I know. I think I want to go to Japan now. Have you never been to Japan? I've never been. Oh, it's on my bucket list. you've got to go. I know. What a place. I Fantastic. know. Amazing toilets. Do you know what's interesting? You ever see like Japanese tourists taking pictures of everything when they yes. were here, and you're like, why are you taking pictures of a mailbox for and all yes. that? I found myself in Japan doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> like I was like, yeah. look at how different the sidewalk is, yeah. and I would be like, yeah, it's exactly the same. Yeah. I thought I've judged harshly. Yeah, I was just in London and I was taking pictures of all the telephone boxes that are red, and like, why are you taking that? There's graffiti on it. I'm like, but it's amazing. It is, yeah. <laughs> So what's going on, girl? What are you working on? What's happening? <sighs> well, I took a taxidermy class this weekend. What? Yeah. Did you stuff anything? I did, and I'm really germaphobic, so I was the only one in the class with gloves. Did you? You actually got a dead animal and stuffed it? it? Yeah. I mean, they died natural causes, so I didn't shoot it or anything. No, but, no, of course not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the whole time it was pretty. Disgusting. Did you have to empty it out? Oh yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. I mean, it's so gross. Why would you do that? Because I just, oh my God, you really look like you're suffering and you're. I am, hard. yeah. Because <laughs> um, I like to challenge myself, you know, and that's I like. That's a challenge, all right? Yeah. Yeah, so I had my latex gloves, and they're like, you know, that's going to be really hard with gloves. And it was really hard, but, but it was don't... so disgusting. What animal was it? Um, a starling, a European starling, which is a bird. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. Uh, that, what I, you used that would be just like scoop done, wouldn't it? <laughs> They're very they're tiny little No, things. you'd be surprised. This is so gross, and I apologize in advance. But there's so much guck in their little brain. You just had to keep, like, digging out. And, I'm so sorry. And digging out. What? I know, I know. I feel the same way. The horse is disgusting. <laughs> And did you do you get to keep this little project I, once you're done? I do. I actually even brought it. I might give it to you as a gift. It took me ten hours to do. Um, I want you to keep it as a memento of your uh, time there. <laughs> No, but it, I mean, it, it still has feathers now and stuff, but I, I thought you would love it. It has an open beak, and I thought, you know, it could represent Let you. Let me, hang on a second. Let me explain something to you. The horse, not a real horse. <laughs> the skeleton, plastic. The rhino, not a real rhino. These two cats, stuffies. Um, <laughs> everything here never lived. Uh, him over there, the racist. <laughs> not a real racist. Well, actually, I don't know oh, yeah. about that. <laughs> uh, you thought you were out of jail there for a minute, didn't you? So, uh, yeah. what's next then if it's not going to be... Ta are you going to stay with the taxidermy or do something else? I don't know. I think I want to do... Well, you know, I'm scared of open water and flying, so I think I might do a hydroplane situation where you just kind of land in the water and take off from the water and that's good kind of I see that. I like to fly and I uh, and I like to that? be in the water yeah yeah I would okay. I would like to actually get my cuz I've got a pilot's license I'd like to learn how to uh, land the plane on the water it's I got to tell you it's really short so I went to Vancouver it's, it, what's short the water well the runway of oh, the water it's like yeah, yeah. 3 feet you blink and the plane's in the air and I feel like on land you know it takes a really yeah, but that, a lot of that, real do you estate. do you want to fly an airplane from from the water? Then is that what you want to do? Well, you you got to learn how to fly an airplane first, and then fly on the water. You you don't just go straight to flying the airplane over the water. <laughs> but I thought it would be easier. Um, I don't think it will be easier. <laughs> I don't know. I just figure they're smaller. You know, there's no 747s. I think flying a 747 is you know put that down the line a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, all right, maybe yeah. we'll start with like a Cessna. Yeah, yeah, that's what I learned in Cessna 172. 
Whoa, look lovely. at you all fancy 172. I don't know what that means. It just sounded very technical. <laughs> Listen, I mean no disrespect to the great Cessna Corporation of America, but the Cessna 172 ain't fans. So what do you usually fly? Like uh, now? Yeah. Uh, just, you know, whatever's around. Just run to the airport, steal something, and off I go. Yeah. I, I, I like your style. Yeah, you gotta do that. I mean, I'm no, I'm no starling stuffer, but I do my... Yeah. So what's on your bucket list before the end of the year? Like, if you had to, like, check it off. I don't know. It's certainly not taxidermy. Yeah. Uh, I might. Uh, I might like to go to China. Whoa! It's mm, very like exotic. Do you know any Mandarin? No, but my son speaks Mandarin. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Ni hao. Yeah. No uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't Mandarin. Uh, yeah, we're actually out of time. No way. Okay. <laughs> Aw, I know. You're it's... so charming. I was telling someone in the back, I'm like, he's so charming. I hope he uses his powers for good. Well, I, I do now. <laughs> but I didn't always <laughs> embrace the light. <laughs> but I do now. Aw. Most of the time. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, well, so we're fun. out of time. So um, do you want to stay for the end bit? You know, sure. when I stand over there? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be back Fine. in a minute. Little bit. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? And that was the very starling. <laughs> anyway, well, what Amy and I wanted to tell you was that, uh, you know, the, the starling was, you know, it, it, it had lived a full life mm -hmm. and it passed on naturally. No, it wasn't harmed in no, any way. No, no, only by my bullet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Natural causes. <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> I'd like her. <laughs> She's definitely our kind of people, isn't she? Yeah, you can scoop out my brain gunk anytime. Baby. That's so sexy and sweet. Yeah, you've found your place to be, girl. It's nice weird. to be home. Yeah, it is. Welcome to the weird, creepy foreigner, the gay skeleton robot, the uh, not a real horse, and a racist with nothing left to lose. Good night, everybody. Say good night, Amy.